Hey everyone, this is Daryl Christopher coming at you from Ottawa, Ontario, Canada. It is February 21st, 2016, and on February 12th, 2016, I made my final visit to the now closing Jumbo Video on Maryvale and Nepean. And I took some time before uh, recording this because I've been very busy with work. I'm training, I got transferred into a new program and I was in the hospital. I had a issue, thankfully, let's just say it wasn't colon cancer or kidney stones, but it was something pretty bad that I'm gonna have to live with and nothing that bad, but uh, I will have to change my diet for the future. Thankfully, I'm okay. Thank you to the uh, Queensway Carleton Hospital for taking care of me. Big shout out to you. And uh, I have to say, you know, like the, the people coming up now, the millennial generation, uh, you'll just never understand what a big experience it used to be to rent videos by actually going to the store. Uh, I mean, back in the 80s, back when I used to go into Gravenhurst, uh, in uh, Canadian Tire in Gravenhurst of all places, uh, my family used to rent uh, VHS movies. Uh, back when VHS movies cost $300 each, uh, we could rent them for 99 cents each and we used to get 10 movies at a time. That probably helped me a lot get into movies and shows as much as I have. And I totally get that we now live in the Netflix uh, era and Show Me and uh, Crave and all that stuff. But I think the way that it's going to go is eventually it's going to get to the point where they're going to start dropping shows. Uh, people are going to buy the rights and they're going to charge more. And you're going to find that in the future it's probably going to become a tiered system where... Um, they're gonna have every movie you can get for a higher price and whatever's available for a lower one. And I think that's already starting to happen. Uh, I understand if you live in a condo that it's great to have your collection on digital because you just don't have the space for it. But I live in a house and I like the physical contact of having movies. So I have to say, I'm really sad to see Jumbo go. Uh, I was there for the Rogers video closing sale. I was there for the Blockbuster video closing sale and with Jumbo gone That's it now. I'm limited if I want to buy movies or shows I have to wait for sales and pretty much my only options now are uh, The local independent odds and sods, which is okay uh, but for newer content, I'm gonna have to be uh, going between Walmart and Best Buy so I'm just going to have to live with that and probably my next big purchase isn't going to come until uh, Boxing Day when they're going to have tons of deals and I don't go for the electronics when it's Boxing Day. I go for the videos because they have really good prices. So uh, this was it. This was the last big haul and it was a massive haul. Believe you me, it massive. I've never made a purchase this big before but uh, because I'll never be shopping there again that, that was one of my biggest stores that I went to every week so let's get down to it you want to see this haul you tuned into this video you're either bored at work and willing to watch anything you're either um, just a, a lover of random YouTube videos or you're a lover of haul videos or you just like YouTube videos and somehow this showed up in your recommended uh, Thing and you decided to watch it so I say thank you very much to all of you so let's go down to it and let's see what the haul brought in and first off we start off with a uh, play ps4 game I got assassin Creed flag slur for $19.99 I could have got a, another one for free but they had nothing in the price range so I didn't even bother but 20 bucks for a ps4 game hey you can't say no to that right on Next up, I got Season 3 of Bates Motel. I really like this series a lot. It's one of the few reasons I tune in to A&E anymore. And uh, I haven't seen Season 3 yet. I've watched Season 1 and Season 2, so I'm very excited for this. 
Next up, we have the uh, Breaking Bad spinoff, season one of Better Call Saul, right on. I've enjoyed that one profusely. I just started watching season two. I haven't started uh, the first episode yet, but it's probably going to be on my agenda tonight. I'm enjoying a little time, so did a lot of housework today, did a lot of errands. And things are going really well at work. I'm only a couple minutes, a uh, couple, not a couple minutes, but a couple weeks away from getting benefits. So I'm really happy about that. Next up, oh, this was probably the season of uh, American Horror Story that I enjoyed the least. However, the least when it comes to American Horror Story is like winning the silver medal in the Olympics when everyone else wins gold every other time. So this one, pretty good, and I've never been this sort of, I really enjoy, I can't wait to get Hotel, oh my god. Probably my favorites out of all the American Horror Story, they're, they're so rewatchable too, like you can sit back and do a binge watching session, any season of these shows, watch them again and again and enjoy them. And uh, probably my favorite seasons are Hotel, uh, Coven, and Asylum, but hey, you can't go wrong with American Horror Story. So I was very happy to get this right on, add to the collection. Next up, we have season four of Fallen Skies. This of course is the, uh, brought to you by Steven Spielberg, the executive producer, and it also stars uh, Noah Wiley. You might remember him from a particular show called ER but he's way better in this. I never watched ER, so I don't know much about it. So pretty good stuff here. Here we go. I have watched the first season and I bought the second season at the Boxing Day sale, actually, if you watch my YouTube video. And now here for you is the third and final season of the following. So I picked that up. Oh, here we go. These are by far two of the greatest additions to my collection. I love Adventure Time and now I have the third season of Adventure Time. This must really piss off those evangelicals and conservative fake Christians that live in the States, but I love this series. Uh, you know, like it is ridiculous that these guys are so against this. This is great television. I love it. And uh, I love animation. Uh, so I even collect the comic books. So as you know from my videos. But uh, we got third season of Adventure Time here. And we got the fourth season of Adventure Time right on. Uh, here is one that I've been really enjoying. But the prices have always been high on it. And I finally was able to snag, for a decent price, the complete fourth season of Boardwalk Empire. I had the first three already, but this is pretty good, so I'm looking forward to watching this. Oh, here we go. Uh, for some of you, I think that uh, in terms of uh, what my, Matt Grinig produces, we have the better series here than uh, The Simpsons, especially nowadays where you still watch The Simpsons, but it's never as good as what it used to be back in the day. So we have volume eight here of uh, Futurama. This is gonna be good. Oh, here we go. I've been really wanting to get into this series for quite a while, and I finally got it at a good price. I got the first season of The American, so I'm really looking forward to getting into this. Oh, here we go. I love The Walking Dead. I mean, Sunday is Walking Dead Day. There's, there's no other name for it, man. So uh, this was pretty good here to snag for a good price. Season 5 of The Walking Dead. Oh, here we go. Now, I have to say, I used to like wrestling back in the 90s quite a lot. And I got out of it for a while, and then I somehow said, hey, what's wrong with wrestling? I used to enjoy it, I used to like it a lot. There's nothing wrong with liking wrestling. And last year, actually, it's almost been a year now, but I signed up for the WWE Network because I had a friend from work that I used to know that was into wrestling. 
And I thought it was a pretty good deal for only 10 bucks a month. And you get a free pay-per-view every month. And uh, coming up pretty soon is uh, WrestleMania. But here you go. I picked this up here just because this is actually probably one of the better WWE videos. Or back in the day, they used to be the WWF before they chickened out and decided not to fight their lawsuit with the World Wildlife Federation. We have the WWE uh, History of the Intercontinental title. The Intercontinental Championship, right on. That's pretty good. And uh, here we go. This one looks like one of these direct-to-video movies, but this one actually looks pretty good. I know nothing about it, but I just went on the box alone. I have Alien Outpost. Should be interesting. I'm a big science fiction person. I write science fiction. I read comic books. So, hey, how can I say no to this? Next up, oh, man. When the, uh, when the ladies are over, I think this is going on. I have the Blu-ray for The Fault in Our Stars. I think the girls will like this one. Oh, next up here, a classic. We have Boys in the Hood, right on. Oh, next to probably uh, Angel Heart, we have Mickey Rourke's by far the best movie ever made, The Wrestler. And since I like wrestling, uh, they actually said that this movie is very accurate. And indeed it is. I loved it actually. But I finally got it, my own copy. I have The Wrestler on Blu-ray. Right on. Oh, here we go. I could not say no to this. One of the best alien abduction movies ever we have. Fire in the Sky. I don't even think they even have this on Blu-ray yet, but maybe they do. But you know what? I'm telling you right now that I'm not bothering upgrading to the 4K Blu-ray or 4K TV. Uh, I have a 60-inch uh, 3D HD uh, 1080p, but uh, it's actually gotten quite a lot better since the last soft up software upgrade that I did. But my next upgrade, I'm going to 8K for the 80-inch. And uh, when it comes down in price where I feel that it's reasonable, uh, I'm going to get it. I'm not bothering with 4K at all. And uh, I figure after I get the 80 inch 8K, um, I figure by the time that I'm done with that TV, they'll have the holographics coming out. So I, I think that if you're like me and you're smart, don't even bother with 4K. Like I saw it in the store and I'm like, really? What's the difference? Like, it's not even that much better. But 8K, in my eyes, that's way better. And really, after that, like, how much more can they really improve it? I mean, the human eye can only see so much. Unless you're going to get a cybernetic implant in your eye, you're not going to be able to see anything better than 8K. So why even bother? Like, the only next logical step they can do is get the holographics out. And believe me, they're working on it. So let's get back to the hall here. Oh, classic here. Look at that, the mask of James T. Kirk. Captain Kirk. We have Michael Myers, the silent one, silent but strong. We have Halloween 4, the return of Michael Myers, right on. And uh, I could not say no to this, but I have Halloween 5, the revenge of Michael Myers. And look who's on the cover here. This is Daniel Harris, and I believe this is her first movie, and she's gone on to be like a horror movie, like A-list actress, where she's like a scream queen now, right on. So how about that? So I got that. And next up, this looked pretty good in the trailer, so I couldn't say no to this. We have Old Boy. Why not? Next up, we have a little animation here. We have Marvel, and don't tell them. Well, maybe tell them because they can improve, but uh, by far, you know, Marvel comic books are better for the most part, but DC animated movies, that's where it's at. But I could not say no to this one. I love the Hulk, and so I picked up uh, Planet Hulk. More on the horror tip here. Boy, we have the tall man. 
in Phantasm 3. Lord of the Dead. Right on. I love Phantasm. I think that's one of those things where it's like a bunch, a bunch of guys get together and say, hey, we're going to make a movie. And those guys made a bunch of movies. And I'm like, I totally respect that where they tried really hard and they made something really decent that, you know, Hollywood would have spent millions of dollars more on. Kudos to the Phantasm people, man. And uh, next up here, we have a horror double bill. We have Night of the Living Dead. And we have Jack Nicholson in the terror. How about that? Oh, here we go. What happens when you do cocaine throughout the entire production of a movie? Well, Stephen King found out and he probably has bittersweet memories of this. He probably had fun times, but Probably not so good as you get older and you realize, hey, you know, like drugs aren't the greatest thing all the time. Maybe not so good to do so much. I mean, I know that uh, for Dr. and Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, uh, that was that was made on like a coke fuel binge over six days. But uh, here's what Stephen King put out when he was on a lot of coke. He had uh, maximum overdrive right on. And I can't say no to this. And... To round things out, oh my god. My favorite Phoenix on Days of Our Lives will and always be Stefano DiMera. But in the Marvel Comics universe, it is Jean Grey the Phoenix. And we have Volume 2 here of the Animated X-Men. That series was so awesome back in the day. And we have the Phoenix Saga right on. And I got Volume 4 as well. And this one is featuring Beyond Good and Evil. And right here on the cover, we have Wolverine and Sabretooth. Next up, we have the X-Men animated series in anime. How about that? Look at that, look at those X-Men, you know, in the anime style. And finally, they didn't have the box for this, but as you can see, it has the old jumbo style, jumbo video style um, rental boxes. I got Dracula Untold. And I, I you know, like I, I remember now, you know, back in the day, back in the 1990s, I used to go to Jumbo on Montreal Road because you could rent porn there. And that was pretty awesome back in the day. And it was open 24 hours too, so you didn't have to go during the day and have everyone see you. But uh, I was a little bit younger back then and different priorities. But uh, I have some really fond memories of Jumbo Video. On Maryville, they always treated me well. I miss those guys. I'm sad to see them go, but it's a sign of the times. No more video stores. If, millennials, if you're watching this, uh, when, when, the, when you ask what's a video store, uh, people used to go to videos when they didn't own them and they'd rent them and you'd have them for, you know, one to seven days and you could watch it as many times as you wanted. And we used to rent games too. And back in the day, you could get a Super NES game and you'd be able to finish it in three days. You know, sometimes even less if you played a lot. And nowadays, when you get a game, it's like you're playing like forever because there's so much uh, memory in comparison. But anyways, for all this haul here, all this stuff, how much do you think I paid? Now, a lot of these movies were buy one, get one free, super deals for the classics. So this is my bill, pretty epic. But uh, the total came to three forty-three fifteen, and that's Canadian dollars. So think of it this way: and the Canadian dollar is seventy cents uh, U.S. right now. So if you were American, you would have cleaned up. But three hundred and forty-three bucks for all of this is a damn steal. So uh, I was happy to have made it for the. Rogers video sale when they closed and Blockbuster. So this guy was the last one with Jumbo Video gone. That's it. It's the end of an era. I mean, unless you go to a convenience store and they may still do it. 
video rental is over. So that's my video everyone. Thank you so much for tuning in to see my haul. Stay tuned for more videos right here on the Reverie Soul YouTube channel. I'm your host, Daryl Christopher. Take care, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye, everyone.